we'll guide you through how to enable camera access on Snapchat and fix it if you aren't getting the pop-up for it. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. When I go and open up Snapchat, I go and get this pop-up here saying that Snapchat can't access the camera and you may go and get something like unable to access camera as well. So let's go and fix that. Firstly, close out of Snapchat and go and open up your settings. And then what you want to do is go and scroll down like this until you can go and see Snapchat just down here. You can always go and search for it at the top and then go and click on it. And then what you want to do is if you have the options, go and enable camera and microphone and that will go and fix the problem. However, I've seen the case where the camera and microphone aren't actually an option here and they aren't listed. To go and fix that, you can try restarting your iPhone. So to go and do that, you need to go on the side and press the increase volume button, then the decrease volume button and hold the power button. So let's do that all quite quickly. So you press increase, decrease, and then you hold the power button. You'll go and see this screen here, but you just keep on holding the power button until you go and see the Apple logo appear. But first your iPhone screen will go black like this and you continue to hold it. And as soon as you see the Apple logo, let go like this and wait for your iPhone to restart. After your iPhone has restarted, go and unlock your iPhone and open up Snapchat app. And then hopefully you'll go and get the pop-up, which goes and asks you, do you allow Snapchat to go and allow access to your camera? And you can then go and click allow. And that should go and fix your problem. If it still doesn't, then what you could try doing is resetting your settings. To do that, you open up your settings app, scroll down to general, and then you can go and scroll down and click on transfer or reset iPhone. Then you click on reset and you can reset all of your settings. But that does do what it says. So everything will be reset. For example, you'll need to go and enter Wi-Fi passwords and things like that again, but it may be worth trying. I hope you guys found this useful and it fixed your problem.